it's uploading. No, it's already blue, so it's uploaded. And hopefully something will start, but we don't know yet. So I'm exhausted, I'm excited. Uh, I'm, I'm sleepy, but I'm also quite awake. I don't know, it's a, it's a weird feeling because it's been two days by now. Um, lots of ideas have spread. Wild ideas from, from uh, flying lights and uh, blinking shoes up to very serious projects um, where people do work instructions or where people work on medical devices. There are hackathons all over the world, everywhere. It's like an inflation, right? It's like the cool thing to do. It's like skinny jeans. Everybody's doing a hackathon. That's why we're doing more than a hackathon. We got some real industry titans here this weekend. We got MAN, we got Osram, we got AstraZeneca, we got Adidas, we got some big guys here this weekend. We gave a real challenge with real data to the participants. That's, um, I think even for the, for the big data analysts, it's a challenge because to show your ability, you have to handle big data. You have always a lot of barriers, barriers in mind. And what you see here in this environment is freeing up these, these barriers. And this is probably something which we have also to take into our culture, in our corporate culture and change some things. But what we wanted to try was just getting some orthogonal thinking. Some people from different backgrounds, some engineers, some computer scientists, and just to experience the, how the whole event worked. One of the approaches is that we make people create very rapidly and very early on in the stage a prototype. We have all the components here, we have the machines, we have the hardware, and we have the expertise to quickly do complicated stuff in a hackathon format. The idea of more than a hackathon is that we work with um, a combination of a hackathon, a makeathon, and a festival. I really love the energy here and to meet people from all different disciplines working together. I'm extremely excited to listen to the final pitches and we will hopefully see great winners who will start fantastic scalable high-tech companies. We are working on uh, traffic lights for cyclists um, in the back of the jacket. And uh, if someone has to brake, our braking lights can prevent accidents. trying to digitalize or automate the drug discovery process. The idea was to have a, to have a glove where you have sensors in the fingertips and um, that you can uh, navigate, for example, music. So double tap is, for example, pause and the other finger, a normal tap is uh, rewind or whatever. We have like 40 minutes maybe left, maybe. Nope, that's not good. You know, we are, we are very happy because uh, light is Osram and this is an enlightening product. We have seen what you can do with light. It's not only emotions, it's uh, also you can show functions. And I think this combination of LED lights with a high functionality and a wearable in form of a jacket which you wear during sports is an ex excellent achievement yeah, which shows all of the opportunities of these kind of events. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.
This one worked fantastic. The organizers did an absolutely brilliant job. They, they kept the energy up the whole time. Yeah, I would love us to come back next year and try and do something, learn from what we've done this year and do something a little bit different. <laughs>